I want to welcome everyone to our July 11th, 2019 Davis County Fiscal Court meeting. Commissioner Kasslin, would you lead us in a prayer and the pledge? I will. Dear Heavenly Father, we pause for a moment and we thank you for the many blessings you bestowed upon us as individuals and as a community and as a nation. We ask your blessing, your continued blessing upon all of us. We ask you to bless especially those who, who are in need, those who are less fortunate, those who, who simply have challenges that uh, most of us wouldn't want to have. We just ask you to bless them and protect them. We pray these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Commissioner. And once again, I want to welcome everyone to our July 11, 2019 Davis County Fiscal Court meeting. Jenny, are you ready? Item 1A, proclaim July 19 through 27, 2019 as Dust Bowl Week. Whereas this summer the Dust Bowl was hosting its 46th annual outdoor basketball tournament in Owensboro, Davis County, and whereas year after year this historic event displays our region's talented and some not so talented basketball players for an all round good spirited and tremendously competitive expression of the game. And whereas the Dust Bowl held at Kendall Perkins Park always delights visitors and players with a wide array of food vendors who never fail to delight the taste buds. Now, therefore, I, Davis County Judge Executive Al Mattingly do hereby proclaim July 19th through the 27th, 2019 as Dust Bowl Basketball Tournament Week in Davis County, Kentucky, and urge all citizens to get out and take part in this historic week of basketball. And here to uh, take the uh, proclamation is Mr. Owen Byron. Owen, come on up. I'm going to give it to you. Let's go down and get a picture with him. Aaron, I was thinking you wouldn't want to be a member of a team that had these poor old white boys on it, would you? Judge, thank you again for allowing us to be here and thank you for this proclamation. Uh, you mentioned the word not so talented players. <laughs> for the first time this year, we're having a full fledged division for 35 and over. I think you can get a pretty good team out of this room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how your knees are now, but uh, you can Bionic. 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 Mark could be in the middle and we get Sheriff Kane and you got a couple guards here. But we'd love to have you guys out. And, uh, we invite you and all the citizens of Davis County to come out and join us during Dust Bowl Week. You're right, Byron. We got Art and we got uh, Mr. Hendricks. That's our our height. And then we have Ross as our muscle. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you. Yes, sir. Good, good luck. Hope you have good weather. Nice, cool weather and dry weather during this. It's, it's always a good time. Byron, I... If I may, yes. I, I just was curious: are, are the uh, the game for the 35 and over? Are they shortened? <laughs> the, the quarters are they shortened? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, are they short courts, like five foot <laughs> on either side? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's well, it. Half court. <laughs> half yeah. court. There you go. All right, Jenny. Next item. B, Declaration of Emergency Pursuant to KRS 424.264, Repairs to East Fire Station. Claude, is there, should I read this into the record or is? I think you need to just state it, Judge, although it's pretty short. Oh, okay. The, and, and actually, this is a declaration I signed on the 5th of July. Yes. Following a lightning strike on the East Side Fire Station. Uh, Guessing right now, it's done about two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars worth of damage. We're looking at two anywhere from two to five months 
to repair it. Uh, in order to facilitate and speed the process up, I declared a declaration, which meant that we could then go with a preferred contractor as selected or as preferred by the insurance yes. company. We don't bid it out. The insurance company has had dealings with this contractor. They use the same matrix in, in pricing items out. We have had an experience with, with the contractor. Um, as you know, we had to find... Um, temporary quarters for the east side fire station uh, Thruston Dermont uh, Chief Newman was kind enough to allow us to quarter in that building for a while and as an as uh, for your information the Davis County Fiscal Court said that we would uh, pay the utilities for that time period since typically they're not used all the time and Chief Newman was appreciative of that so uh, we're in that process uh, Joe Paul is the liaison to the insurance company and the contractor, and hopefully they'll get it done as quickly as possible. I know that the the bay, Jordan, the best I remember, the bays are in pretty good shape, but the living quarters, kitchen area, they're going to have to replace the roof, and they're going to have to replace a lot of the trusses. So it, that's going to be some stru some major structural change uh, to that building. So anyway. Any questions or comments? Next item, Jenny. Two, consideration for approval, A minutes of the June 20, 2019 court meeting. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Commissioners, you all had a copy of the minutes in your possession for some time. <coughs> Any additions, deletions, or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. B, all claims for all departments. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Again, commissioners, you've had a copy of all the bills due and payable by Davis County Fiscal Court in your possession for some time. Any question of the treasurer? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. Before you go on, uh, Jailer Maglinger, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you at the beginning of the meeting. We have uh, Jailer Art Maglinger with us. Thank you for attending. Go ahead. C, the Eric Group Entertainment Contract for the 2019 Independence Bank Fireworks Festival. Move to approve. Second. Second. I have a motion and <coughs> second. Uh, Ross. And judge, this document has been reviewed by our county attorney, Claude Porter. Uh, this is for entertainment, uh, including the covered stage, uh, adequate sound, lights, and band that will perform for two hours between the hours of 6.30 and 8.30, immediately before the fireworks at Panther Creek Park on Saturday, August 31st, 2019. I would recommend approval and be happy to entertain any questions. Question or comment? Question or comment by the public? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. D, agreement with the City of Owensboro and OMPC granting additional responsibility per KRS 198B.065. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion and second. Commissioners, uh, when it talks about additional responsibilities, this, is, this goes back a long way. Uh, the uh, OMPC has an agreement with the city of Owensboro and Davis County Fiscal Court to do code enforcement, certain code enforcements. The one code that they don't enforce is the plumbing code that's done by the state directly. Uh, each year we will sign a new agreement. There is no change in the agreement, no change in the responsibilities. Any questions, comments? Public? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. E, agreement with the City of Owensboro and OMPC granting HVAC plan review permitting and inspection responsibility per KRS 198B.66732. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion and second. Again, this is just one more of those responsibilities. The other pertain to, to building inspections, to uh, electrical inspections. Back in 2011, we added the HVAC inspections. Again, plumbing inspection is done by the state. There are also inspections done by the state uh, where you have buildings of general assembly, jails, schools, hospitals, things like that are local buildings and code enforcement. They do not review the plans and they do not do the inspections. Any question or comment? 
There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion <laughs> carries. F, Resolution 18, 2019, Street Lighting District, Brookfield Subdivision. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion second. Jordan, are you prepared to talk about this? Or who is Claude? I'm sorry. I can't either way, Judge. These Jordan's, are just ones Jordan's we're, pointing we're at you, and he, <laughs> he, he was like he's caught with his, a deer in a headlight. So. <laughs> These are ones we regularly do where um, each of the subdivisions that are developed uh, enter into a street lighting agreement. And these are recorded, uh, and then the cost of the street lighting are be assessed in a portion among the owners. Okay. Uh, we keep a list of all those and subdivisions that don't have street lightings in it commissioner you and i talked about the things that they would have to go through they would have to petition the court was it 70 percent of the 70 percent of those folks in that subdivision would have to sign the petition and then it would be handled the, the same way uh, the i think before it was a little haphazard the way things are gone but you have worked with uh, what the clerk's office, the engineer, everybody PBA, got together, yeah. PBA, everybody Energy. got together, and, and we got a little better way of doing it. So, any question or comment? Question or comment by the public? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. G, Resolution 19 2019, Street Lighting District, Deer Valley Subdivision, Section 4, Unit 1. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any question or comment, commissioners? This is the same as the one before. Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. H, Resolution 20, 2019, Street Lighting District, Deer Valley Subdivision, Section 4, Unit 2. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion and second. Commissioners, this is the same as the two preceding. Any question or comment? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Aye. Resolution 21, 2019, and KYTC Supplemental Agreement Change Number 2. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Mark, is this you? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, this is in regards to the 8020 uh, Rural Secondary Bridge uh, Fund. <clears throat> The original agreement was for the design of uh, uh, bridge structures for three roads, those being uh, Pinch Road, Jackson Road North, and Drury Road. The first uh, supplemental agreement was for the construction of the bridge on Drury Road, uh, which was uh, approved a couple of months ago. That bid came in a little bit lower than our estimate, which allowed us a little bit more flexibility in the remaining funds. So uh, we have finished the design for the Pence Road crossing, and we believe there's enough money uh, left in that fund to purchase that uh, uh, structure uh, to put in. So uh, this allows us to get reimbursed for that structure on Pence Road also. Any I recommend approval. Any question or comment? Question or comment by the public? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, let me go back to the last one on the OMPC agreements. I said one year agreements, those are three year agreements, a maximum of three <coughs> years. I just wanted to make sure that was reflected in the record. Okay, next item. J, Resolution 22, 2019, Davis County Board of Health, 2019 Public Health Tax Rate. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second, commissioners, in your packet is a letter addressed to the judge executive. It says, in close, you'll find the Davis County Public Health Taxing District's resolution for 2019. The resolution was passed by the Public Health Taxing District Board at its May 2nd, 2019 meeting. The tax rate has been approved in accordance with provisions of KRS 212.720 through 212.755. or .755. On behalf of the board, I'm submitting the enclosed resolution to Davis County Fiscal Court so the fiscal court may impose the special ad valorem tax, public health tax. Please feel free to contact me, Clay Horton. If you turn to the next page, you will see where the uh, tax rate remains the same as last year at four cents per hundred dollars of assessed value on real property, four cents assessed value personal property, and four cents assessed value on uh, motor vehicles. The, I would tell you, I serve on that board. Uh, the Davis County Health Department does an excellent job uh, stewarding uh, the dollars that the public sends to them. 
I don't know how much longer that 4 cent tax rate will last, particularly if there is not something done regarding the pension system. Now, my understanding is a special session will be called uh, next week on the 19th to specifically address special governmental entities like the health department. Uh, but all that does is it delays a year the imposition of a higher higher uh, rate for retirement. So they have to address it some way or you're going to see it in, reflected in tax rates by all these special governmental entities going forward. Any question or comment? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. K award RFQ 004-2019 Lee Rudy Road Siren Replacement. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion second. All right, Mr. Johnson, you're on. Yes, Judge. On May 26th, an uninsured vehicle struck a utility pole that was housing the Lee Ru Rudy Road Vortex R4 Community Notification Siren, knocking it to the ground, damaging the siren severely. We requested quotes for its repair and remount and received two, one for $15,248 and another for $16,131.02. We're recommending the lowest quote submitted by Ohio Valley Two-Way Radio, who have no exceptions to our specifications in the amount of $15,248. This item will be reimbursed by insurance, and I recommend approval. Question or comment? And you did say we're going to get some reimbursement, insurance reimbursement? Yes, SANS are deductible. Okay. Uh, question or comment for the public? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. L, Kentucky Emergency Management, time and attendance reporting timesheets for employees of the Davis County Emergency Management Agency, effective July 1, 2019. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Uh, Mr. Hendricks, I hope it's you. Yeah, I can talk about it. The, um, we reimbursed for 50% of some of the personnel in EMA. There's, the, the state has several requirements that we have to do, uh, the papers that we sign quarterly for, uh, for them to be reimbursed. And one of the requirements that they have, we did this several years ago, but they've asked for us to do it again. It's just the court's issuing a letter the said the court is aware and the court agrees that, that those uh, positions should be reimbursed. So the, it, it's just a requirement of the state, but again, it's so we can continue being reimbursed for those positions for, for the 50%. Okay. Question or comment? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. M. Promote Carl Wright to Road Department Supervisor effective July 15, 2019. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Mark, do you want to, we're not hiring anybody new. This nope. is a replacement for Alan Isbell, who is retiring. Correct. Uh, this is an internal, somebody that moved from the Parks Department to. Yes, sir. To the Road Department. Uh, Ross, I see you smiling out there. Okay. Uh, anything else that you want to add? We're excited to have him. All right. All those in favor, or anybody have any comment or question? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. N. Hire Adam Turner as mechanic in the Department of Public Works, effective July 29, 2019. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion and second. A replacement? That is correct. We did just had one uh, leave. No, no additional personnel replacing somebody who is retired or is gone? Correct. Okay. Any question or comment, commissioners? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. O, advertise for a receptionist in the Department of Administrative Services. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion second. I don't know why we continue to put advertise for on here when we go ahead and do it, but that's all right. Uh, guys, all of you are aware that dear Mary is leaving us. She, September. She said that she had put in enough time, could put up with Hendrix anymore and that she was going on to bigger and better things. Uh, we begged her to stay. She said if she did, she'd have to start whooping people like Jordan and Mark <laughs> and David. And we said Mary would probably ought to retire. So uh, we'll have some kind of formal retirement for her, I'm sure. It's requested that we do not. Oh, we will. Mary, I'm your boss. You can't do that. 
so anyway, we're going to look at uh, hiring a receptionist. We're going to look at some other issue, other things. We're going to kind of throw things into the mix and pull them out and see what what's going on. But anyway, right now we will look to hire and see. Uh, probably we will advertise internally first, wouldn't we, Jim? I think we're doing both at the same time. We're going to do both at the same time. Okay. Question or comment? Hearing that, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Three, consideration for discussion. A, first reading of KOC um, incorrect number has not been updated. <laughs> Budget amendment number one. Okay. Uh, this is first reading, so we don't, we don't have a... Uh, we don't have a vote on it. Don't need a motion or a second. Jim, do you want to talk about why we're doing this? The the number's incorrect simply because I haven't been allocated the number yet. I'll probably have it on Monday, and I will just revise the same document for the new reference number before I send it to the state for approval. This is the first amendment that we've done in fiscal year 20 since it just started, but the reason we're having to do it is because the county attorney's office was awarded a grant of seventy-seven thousand uh, dollars for the mental health court that, a, that the fiscal court approved a meeting or two ago. Since that revenue was was not in the budget because we didn't know about it when we did the budget, then in order to spend it, we have to amend the budget to report the revenue. So that's what this document's doing. We're reporting the fact that he's going to get seventy-seven thousand from the state for the grant. Plus, he's been awarded $10,000 from um, River Valley. River Valley, and for a total of 87, and you see where the expenditures are going, so that it balances, and then we'll just send it to get it approved and move forward. Okay. Well, we didn't have it in there because we didn't know we were going to get it right. Right. That's correct. Claude, talk to us a little bit about. It. I'm pretty excited about. I, uh, we are too, Judge. Um, what we, <coughs> the judge and. Um, Judge Jones began looking at it. Uh, we've had a lot since um, a lot of the supported community living cl uh, houses closed in Jefferson County and around. Uh, we have a lot more people here who have some disabilities and other mental health problems. I think the jail, I think the jailer could let us know we probably have anywhere from 25 to 40 percent. Oh, easily, of, easily of that, people right? Who in the in the jail have mental health problems or issues? Yeah. This court will attempt to deal with those on a daily basis or weekly basis. Uh, the person, uh, the grant will provide for a person who will monitor the case manager, a director who will monitor those those folks, uh, help with assigning them treatment providers, look for uh, places where they can live. We've already had at least meetings with. Um, two local nursing homes, uh, both of the homeless shelters have been uh, active in helping us uh, do with that, work with that. Um, and we've had a number of other uh, providers, including River Valley, who was very generous in, in awarding us $10,000 to make up the difference in what we were looking for. Um, we're, we're excited and we're starting uh, August 1st, <coughs> uh, hoping to get the court in place. And I think we already have uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to 15 referrals even before we get started. Well, I know that, that you've heard me at several state of the counties talk about our jails have become holding cells for yes, folks Judge. with mental and emotional disabilities. And we're not, jailer, your men are not, and women are not trained to handle those things. Uh, so I'm, I'm just excited that, that we have a path forward for these folks to perhaps help them uh, with their illness and then be able to get them back into society where they're where useful productive and, and this works for both the county and the jail yes, part of it this absolutely. is a department of corrections grant yes. which we we try to show them the number of days that we've reduced somebody in jail and that's the, right. the plan for this is right okay any question or comment commissioners question or comment from the public first reading we'll vote on it next at our next meeting B, other business to be brought before the Davis County Fiscal Court. I'm not aware of any. Okay, next. C, public comments. This is the time in our meeting in which we invite the public to come to the podium, identify yourself. You're welcome to speak on any issue other than those that were on the agenda tonight. I have no takers. D, comments by Davis Fiscal Court. Commissioner Caslin. Pass. Commissioner Wathen. 
I just wanted to ask Charlie, did you realize, Charlie, had you worn a, a dark sports coat, we would have been consistent all the way through? I, <laughs> you, you messed it up. But I, anyway. I didn't get the text, you know. It, it, was, a, it was an email. You yeah, see there you go. Okay. It was to a, a, a dot org dot gov email i think wasn't it okay uh <laughs> commissioner coger pass all right uh, just a couple things one of the things that i'm i'm going to ask claude to comment i decided i would ask you to comment claude i know that commissioner uh Wathen has received several emails from a couple subdivisions out in the west he's passed them on to me i think we've all received emails in the past regarding the use of golf golf carts four wheelers three wheelers and and motor scooters and what you can do and can't do apparently there are some folks who would like to use golf carts in their subdivisions uh, we do not allow them on county roads the city doesn't allow them on county streets now that being said that doesn't mean they don't happen they don't exist uh, we do not go out uh, deputy you don't go out looking for people on the streets or on the roads you respond when you get a call which means there are everybody would lead you to believe that everybody wants them but there are people out there that don't want them and they're calling and calling in complaints about them claude what yes. is what are the state and local regulations regarding S golf carts? state regulations will permit local governments in certain instances to permit in subdivisions that request it uh, the right to use low-speed vehicles. We have, in fact, passed an ordinance that prohibits the use of low-speed vehicles, including golf carts, um, on county roads and other places. And Citizen, or the city has done the same. And the city has done the same, yes, Judge. So right. there, are, there are no places in Davis County in which you may operate a golf cart or other low-speed vehicles on public rights-of-way. Now, the the little bitty scooters that often are too small for the folks who are riding them anyway to keep up with those i think it's under 50 cc's under, yes fit, generally i just look at them if, they're, if it says 50 or under we go ahead but there are other criteria too they can't go more than 35 miles an hour they have to have a, a brake horsepower of less two two horsepower or less and they have to be stepped through or have pedals uh, and you have you, to be you have to have a driver uh, you must have a driver's license right. to operate those vehicles right you do not have to register and get a license plate they are not required to be insured but right. you must have a driver's license okay the the uh the ordinance that the city and county passed was pretty much a mirror ordinance it regard it was regarding ups using golf carts yes. in subdivisions right. to to deliver i, I know and, and Commissioner Castle and I have had a conversation, Commissioner Wath and I think we've had a conversation on occasions about it. The state law, you know, we're not allowing golf carts. We don't allow four wheelers, three wheelers. We see them there all the time. Uh, but we allow pedestrians and bicyclists. What's the story? Pedestri There's a lot of difference in one, pedestrians, and then two, the golf carts, people tend to believe and they send kids out on them. They're one, because they're low speed, um, they are susceptible to being run over, literally run over by uh, vehicles. Can't see them, um, and they're going at you know 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. Um, We've had people walking and riding bicycles for years. These are motor vehicles. They, right. Somebody walking, somebody riding a bicycle, a lot of motor vehicles. A little different. Okay. A little different. Uh, I just thank you for that explanation. Commissioners, and, and certainly we can have a conversation here. I don't know that we want to. It's, it's just, it's one of those things that they are allowed. I think uh, there are some communities that allow golf carts in, in, in their community in the community most of the time those are closed and or gated communities where the general public is controlled in and out that means that all those folks within that community know that golf carts are allowed they're on the street and they know to watch for them when you have communities that are open to the public and particularly communities that have more than one entrance or exit 
it becomes a real danger because a lot of people go in and they don't have a clue that golf carts, these low speed vehicles are there. I do know that the Sheriff's Department had talked to me in terms of they had to take one golf cart home where a nine year old was driving the cart and the cart was full of other, other kids who were less, less than, than that age. In my subdivision, and I live in a city subdivision, we had have some young kids occasionally come down through there pulling other kids on a skateboard behind the golf cart. Yeah. I mean, it's it's one of those things. We we have enough issues with pedestrians and bikers getting hurt every year. I don't think we've had a year, and as long as I can remember, that we've not had a fatality on our roads and streets or highways with four wheelers. Uh, it's just something that we don't need to. Uh, don't need to have out there now I do know that folks would like to visit their neighbors in that case uh, engineer Brasher when we do our subdivision specs next year let's not require sidewalks because people don't want to walk anymore on sidewalks they want to drive golf carts through the through <laughs> through their subdivision but anyway it's 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 one of those things that um, I, I think we need to continue where we have been, uh, but it's certainly I'm a, a single vote. I'm willing to listen to anything that the commissioners would like to do or, yes, Claude. I, Mr. Smith reminded me, Judge, we do have one, City of Whitesville did approve the use of golf carts yes. within the city limits of Whitesville, uh, so. So there, there we have one in this, in the county that allows it. So anyway, any comment? Next item. And I forgot, there was so much on that that I used, I can't remember what the other was. Um, had a good uh, 4th of July uh, display downtown. I, I had people talk to me and tell me that it was the best they had ever seen. Unfortunately, I didn't make it. I had about 60 or 70 great nieces and great nephews, nieces and nephews. I cook for all of them. And unfortunately, I like to do a lot of cooking with beer and I fell asleep and 4th of July was gone. So uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, there was did you one. Follow, did you fall asleep before or after you finished cooking? Well, some of them said those hot dogs were a little crispy. <laughs> But but anyway, uh, there was one other one other issue that I couldn't I can't remember. Well, I'll remember it next time. Um, that's it. If there's no other business to be brought before Davis County Fiscal Court, without exception, we're adjourned.